as you can see, today's video is a room makeover. And the reason why I filmed this video is because when I was doing my um, research for like wheelchair videos and like what to do with a wheelchair office, there was nothing really else there as far as like the office space really for a person in a handicap situation and so I hope this can be useful some for somebody. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys um the pieces I put in to my office to make it more wheelchair friendly and um, for, so I can be most independently. First thing I put is this console table. But we're also gonna link everything um we have in the description. So this console table we have is. I really had no um uh storage to um that I can reach and put things away. The only storage I had was, was my black desk, but I can't really reach the storage, so there was no point in that. So I can easily pull up here and uh Put, like move and sit at a comfortable technically call it an architect an architect desk I can't say that one for some odd reason but uh, so like it can be adjusted to like different angles if you need to like draw on it if and again this is on Amazon and we'll link it below two desks in my office um this is a desk that I can't use really comfortably because there's shelving underneath it and so my wheelchair can't get scooted, can't scoot underneath it. But it's mainly for my, uh, whoever's helping me to have their own space while I do other stuff. Um, we also got a long wafer years ago, but I don't know if it's still on the website. So, okay, so I also have these for, like, um, I can't really, um, I can't really turn, turn on and off that because of how it is. So we bought these to make it more in, independently. And, um, we also have, I also have a wax warmer. So we got another one that, another, um, on and off switch so I can be most, I can turn it off and on when need be. These are the, so these are a calendar I have of what's going on in my day to day life. Not day to day, but like if there's any events or if there's, um, but I also have a to do list. And the reason I, they're kind of, um, kind of low is because obviously with me saying, um, I can't. Reach in that. Reach it. Everything has to be lower. So that is why we have that. My sister's um when she was doing her classes because she drew a lot, so she needed a big, big, um, big whiteboard for anatomy and stuff like that. So when she was done with her class, I use it. I mean, now I'm using it for plotting out my novel. Which I am almost done with. Hallelujah. Um, I am almost done with that. Do you want to talk about your rolling cart? So, yeah. Also, I have a lot of rolling carts in my room. In my room and in the closet. Because it's easy for me to move it when I'm wearing it. Uh, but, yeah. They're really easy for me to like put one of my fingers in or like to get up close to. Or if I need to move it, I can move that too. Um, really my bed, my office is right like like connected through my bathroom to my room. So it's, it makes it easier if I need to go to the bathroom, 
just call my parents or whatever. Um, yeah, it just makes everything easier for me to begin and out. Favorite piece in the home in the home room, and um, we got it at Walmart. Market. I'll also link that below. But because of like COVID times, we almost didn't get it. But I'm so happy we did. It really um, brings a design aspect to the room, and it was long worth the hassle. That concludes the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any other um, video suggestions, I would appreciate the feedback. And um, also, if you guys have questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. Or you can also visit my website, Author on Share. If you want to keep it private, I have a contact me page. So, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!